It's Friday the 13th. It's Mercury retrograde. Bad luck. But you know how to vote, don't you? You don't vote for Republicans because they blow. Welcome to the Daily Political Tower Ratings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today is Friday the 13th. It might actually be the only Friday the 13th this year. And uh, as this is the Black and Orange channel, with everything uh, related, Halloween, whatnot, uh, I, yeah, Friday the 13th is a thing around here. So anyway, all right. Hello, Becca. That was a great, uh, Becca did a great uh, over, um, grand tableau, Lenormand grand tableau on uh, McCarthy last night. Thank you, guys. All right, so. Okay, and we're gonna, gonna use these too. We're going, we're going, we're going old school today. The um, the spooky lady down the you know the spooky lady who reads reads the cards in the in the film noir movies. But anyway. If you're watching this on replay, you can go down in the description box. Uh, I'm, you know, I've, I'm, I'm well organized, like most secretaries. And um, everything, e everything, um, everything, sir, is it's well organized in the description box, and you can just go through and if everything's time stamped. You can click on exactly what you need. I also type. Uh, well, actually, in the earliest typewriters, well, by like the 30s, 40s, thing, things were better. But in the earliest typewriters, you couldn't type more than 35 words a minute because the keys would jam. So, anyway, congratulations, Diane. I got married 34 years ago on Friday the 13th. How cool is that? All right, so... Um, 10% of, of my income goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. So, all right. Um, so, we are starting out. It's not a reading. It is just good news. I am here to tell you. I'll just make a note. Three minutes in. I mean, this is like... This is huge. Scientists in Australia have found the cause of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. It is the cause of nearly 40% of sudden unexpected infant deaths in the US alone each year. Now we know what causes it and why, and better yet, how to prevent it. Good news. So I'm just. Whew, there's a link in the description if you want to go read more about it. Good news. All right. All right. Now we're going to go into the normal kind of stuff. Oh, uh, it links, Darren, uh, uh, like I said, every, it links in the description box. So you can go here, make sure I've saved it. So you can go and click on, you can go read more about it. Yes, Desert Dawn Science gives us this awesome news. All right, so. Unfortunately, we're going from the amazing news down to Rand Paul. It's one of those roller coasters that you have to be really careful that that <clears throat> that you know it gets actually shut down because they didn't do the physics right, and so it's so steep 
and such a jolt that people like start blacking out and stuff. So we're going from that to Rand Paul. Oh boy. Oh, Cat Shepherd, I have good news too. I bought a house. Yes, this is great stuff. Great stuff. Oh gosh, Heather Formosa is saying, this takes me back. My mom and gran used to read playing cards and always a full deck read. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But All right, Rand Paul. He's so awful. Six minutes in. All right, Rand Paul has single-handedly held up $40 billion in aids for Ukraine in aid for Ukraine yesterday, considering how honored he was to hand deliver a letter from Trump to Putin back in 2018. Should we be surprised? What's gonna happen to Rand Paul? What's gonna happen to Rand Paul? I'm just so, I'm still kind of, my energy is kind of riding high on that great news and how, how, how many people that's going to help? How many families? How many lives are going to be saved? How many, how much trauma is going to be avoided? How much, you know, I just, oh my gosh, it's so good. And now I've got to read on, on this excuse for a human being. Then again, I have, I have worked at multiple front desks, so I know what it's like to deal with someone who's so great and then to deal with the worst person you've dealt with in months. So, I'm getting the T word. Entertainment only. What do I know? I'm just reading the cards. I'm getting, I'm getting traitor. This is me. We'll see if I can remember what all the meanings. This is a lot of, this is it's the Ace of Cups. This is a lot of good that they're trying to, uh, they're trying to do in Ukraine. And guess who's getting in the way? All right, I don't think I need the rack. These are very small. Seven of seven of cups, illusion, delusion. Five of cups. Four of cups is refusal. Five of cups is disappointment. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Um, Illusion, delusion, disappointment. Nine of pentacles. Well, he's sitting pretty. Jack of wands. Acting for the far right because he's libertarian. Four of swords. Killing the deal. They, they, uh, the U.S. wants to do so much good. Desert Dawn says your nails match the hearts. And you said with such surprise. Always the tone of surprise. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Ace, this is so much good that could be done. And he's just with far right garbage. Killing the deal. He's sitting pretty. Well, that's what's going on. It doesn't say, is anything going to happen to Rand Paul? Are we going to Nuclear Magenta? Are there no page cards for today's reading? Are there no Major Arcana either? So we'll just, I might switch back over to the regular deck. I just thought we'd, we'd go, go retro today. We'll go old school.
Rand Paul, what's going to happen to you? Six of Pentacles. That's charity. Ace of Wands. Two of Cups. Ten of Swords. Action of the far right. Scuttling the partnership as well, as much as he can. I don't think he'll be able to do it fully in the long run, but this is... This is He's, I'm just, I just keep getting disgust and outrage at how much damage this is doing. I think it's on the 19th. Is it on the 19th Ukraine, the Ukrainians run out of money or something? No, on the 19th, uh, Biden's, what Biden was doing runs out of funds. So we need to help them. We need to get this going. Or a lot of people are going to die. Exactly what I needed. Hang on, I need to print something out. One second. Show more options. Print. Print. Okay. This will become easier. Lisa, Lisa. Lisa Graham says, in the old days, senators would beat each other with canes and have duels at dawn. Exactly, Catherine Rodriguez. Any delay in funding Ukraine could be catastrophic right now. Cannot lose momentum. This will be easier now. All right. Sorry about that. Um, part two. Is it 13? All right. We can't lose momentum. This is the guy traveling on the boat family carrying the swords can't lose momentum six of six of cups two of six of cups two of wands jack of wands communicating far right i'm not getting anything happening to Rand paul I'm just, I'm just not, no matter what I pull, I just keep getting this horrible situation and the, well, they find a way around him then. Well, they find a way around Rand Paul. Five of Cups. Disappointment. Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. No, is what this is saying. This is um, liberal disappointment. This is the Knight of Wands is active, like warfare, could be aggressive law enforcement. Uh, Seven of Swords is um, the Thief card. 
Six of Wands is the um, far right victory card. I wish I had better news, but Rand Paul's is this how devastating is this going to be? How devastating is this going to be? Because even McConnell's behind this. Is behind. He's he's for what? He's for this bill. These are these are active liberals saying we're gonna we're gonna do the thing we're gonna fight harder we're going to find a way around. Five of Cups, Ace of, a lot of money. They'll find a way. They're gonna find a way. Yeah. Um. In a second. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh, Judy, thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right. Yes, I don't remember where in Gemini. Uh, I think it's early Gemini that Mercury is retrograde in, because I think it's going back into uh, Taurus, at least briefly, um, which is right on my ascendant. And so this Mercury retrograde is kicking my rear end from one side to the other. Uh, it is right on top of my ascendant, how I present myself in the world. I can't, I literally cannot download anything from, from Canva right now. I had to do a, to, to get this, I had to do a screen capture, open it up in fo Photoshop Elements, take out the background, and then upload it over here. Google Chrome isn't updating. I mean, it's just, yeah, this whole Mercury retrograde is right on my ascendant, and because it's on my ascendant, it's also setting off my the T-square in my chart. So, yeah. but I'll we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. Thank you again, Judy. Okay. Vince Foster saying that Rand Paul says he doesn't trust the government to figure out what the truth is. Uh, Cherry H says Google Chrome has been acting wonky for a few days now. Oh, Eileen says, I had problems with my computer right before a job interview today. Oh, bless. bless. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. All right, 1830. Now, this is interesting. I did not know this. Some Russian soldiers are taking advantage of Putin's not wanting to technically declare war on Ukraine. By law, since Russia is not at war, they can refuse to fight Ukraine with only having to take a verbal lashing from their commanders. As long as it, they are on Russian soil, and there's no declared war, Rus Russian soldiers can say, I'm not going. Oh boy. So, um, will this force Putin to make a formal declaration? How is this going to affect things? As far as I'm aware, in the <clears throat> U.S. military, if it's, unless it's an illegal order, in which case you are obligated not to, to follow it, um, you, do, you go where you're told. Leah Backman says lots of Russian soldiers are telling commanders to whistle off. K. 
king of wand. Fascism. Aggression. Aggression. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords. This is traveling to war. Eight of Pentacles, that's work. Five of Cups, Disappointment. Eight of Swords, which is being hemmed in. It's not... It's not in numbers that make all the difference, but it's a thing. It's contributing to the mess that uh, Putin is in. Um, because he's running low on money. He's running low on supplies. There are a lot of things they can't rebuild because they can't get the, um, the chips imported. Supposed to go off to war, do your work. Disappointment, and then the soldiers get hemmed in, verbal lashing, whatever. Go, you know, go clean latrines or whatever, but they're alive. In the article, um, <clears throat> in the article I read, it was saying that, um, this guy was saying, I, I get out in June. I'm not going to Ukraine. Nah, they can do whatever they want to me for the next, you know, month. Oh, Menzi says, I thought some were shot for not fighting. Okay. <clears throat> some were shot for not fighting. I'm getting more commanders being shot in the field being the issue but let's see two of swords <laughs> yeah that's a decision your story to watching from the philippines oh wow goodness gracious what time of day is it there four of cups it's a refusal to fight for the this far-right fascism refusal to fight but willing to fight for their families if their families were actually in danger. And Ukraine's there fighting for their families. So it's, this is not helping. I, I'm not saying this is going to be the be all and end all, but this is not definitely hurting, hurting Putin, hurting morale, you name it, so. <clears throat> Yes, Darren Smith. I believe American soldiers can refuse to follow an order if it is an illegal order. They are required to not follow illegal orders. It's not even like, oh, well, maybe I will. No, it's illegal. You say no. Okay. 23, 45, 24. Yeah, we'll just do 24. Okay. So, officials are claiming that the Ukrainian conflict could end up in a stalemate if it has not been resolved by September. What do the cards say? Let's have a look. Have a great day, Ginger. Stalemate. No, I'm getting nope. Nope. Ukrainians won't have it. Nope. Stalemate. Nope. They are going to, if they have to, you know, drag tanks, soldiers, and everything else back to the border, they are going to drag it all and shove it out of their country. Ukra Ukrainians are going to win this thing. That's what I'm getting. If it comes to some like stalemate, Ukraine, you, then if it looks like it's a stalemate, Ukraine has the advantage. That's what it feels like. Again, King of Wands, Putin the autocrat. 
Four of Pentacles. Who? This is um, running out of money, materials, but this it's it's in balance <clears throat> or imbalance with this Four of Cups, which in in this case. Uh, it feels like it's actually direct, re directly related, as in Putin's running out of stuff. The West isn't. They can just keep sending stuff. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Three of Swords. This is, this is the card of dynasty. Putin believing that he can go into Ukraine. Ukraine is somehow part of Russia. Mm -mm. Um, and from what I've read, the, Slav, the, the idea of a Slav identity actually started in Ukraine, not Russia. So sit down. But this idea of dynasty... But these are com these are right wing communications with um, this. This is the, the swords through the heart. This is a military defeat. Because their communications are so porous. I'm, I'm not getting stalemate. Is it Slava Ukraine? Is that the um, battle cry? Forgive me if I've messed that up. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting. Yeah, Ukraine will win. Win. Okay. Twenty-seven. Okay. <laughs> Now we're again, we're going for this wonderful thing. Yes. Defeat the aggressor. Now we're looking at Mike Pence. <laughs> it's the roller coaster. Ukraini. Slava Ukraini. Thank you. Slava Ukraini. All right. 2730. Mike Pence. Ew. What do you think, kitten? I know I don't want to read on Mike Pence either, but we're going to. That's what we do around here. All right, so Mike Pence is rallying in Georgia for Governor Brian Kemp, who is running in a primary against Trump backed David Perdue. So little Pence has decided he's going to back a candidate, a candidate who is exactly not. He was running against the Trump-backed candidate. The question was, how big of a meltdown will this, this cause his orangeness? This cat him says Ukraine is using the skills of teen gamers and drone flying operations. I'm not surprised. Oh, Marby, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles, Fruits of Labor, Mike Pence. Mike Pence is rallying in Georgia for Governor Brian Kemp who is running in a primary against Trump back David Perdue. <sighs> is one worse than the other? I honestly, I don't know the difference between Kemp and Perdue. I'm guessing they're both awful. I'll assume the one Trump is backing is worse, but I assume they're both awful. And this is the liberal knights go fighting for their candidates who are kind of walking past like don't mind us you guys fight amongst yourselves hi yay yay eight of pentacles working 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 queen of cups 
eight of oh the far right all those those wands flying through the air it's basically the card of a lot and six of cups okay republicans fruit of labor working 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 I'm more Trumpy and I'm more Republican than you are. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, to the queen. Okay, we're all going to work together over here. And yeah, we're going to go. I'll meet you down at the. Uh, I'll meet. I'll, I'll meet you down at the garden center on Saturday afternoon. My they're over there, fighting it out. How angry is Trump? Miss Katz says Purdue is worse than awful. Here there are half a dozen other governors back in camp. Oh, jeez. So how angry is Trump? And that's just the... The liberal fighters going past. Ace of Pentacles, big money. Two of Swords, a decision at the election. Three of Swords, through the heart. Three Swords through the heart. He's been betrayed. I've been betrayed. No one has ever been treated worse than the kitty. No one has ever been treated worse than the kitty. No one ever. No. Yes, Al, like an orange popsicle on the sidewalk. You're just sweet. You're a good boy. Yes, he is. I get to do the reading, sweetie. But you're so cute. You're so cute. You're such a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, did you see something outside? Here, I'll put you down on your little bed over here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good boy. All right. Have fun fighting each other. Bye-bye. Okay. 33 and a bit. Thank you for being here today. Hi, oh boy. Okay. We've got a couple of Roe versus Wade questions. 33-30. Did you guys hear what... Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson said. It's actually hard to find someone who is more awful than Ron Johnson. I mean, you have to really go looking. <clears throat> I don't even like saying this out loud. Okay. Ron Johnson, the senator from Wisconsin, who I have voted against several times, but no, I voted against him, yeah, twice. Yeah, anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Has said, quote, it might be a little messy for some people, but abortion is not going away. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson is telling pregnant women in his state that who want abortions to and, quote, suck it up, unquote, and travel over state lines to get it. Might be a little messy for some people, but abortion's not going away. Just go over into the next state. Ron Johnson is so awful. There are hard... I, I, mm, Ron Johnson. He's coming up for... He's, gonna, he's up in the midterm elections, I believe. 
Well, Leah, thank you. Thank you. Ron Johnson. You know, the thing about kind of a reference to kind of film noir-ish stuff is that one of the key things about film noir was that it was one of the few places, at the time they didn't call it film noir, they called them crime dramas. But it was really about the haves and the have-nots. It was really about, there, there really weren't a lot of stories about the lower classes and about people struggling in the 40s and 50s to try and get out of the, the lowest, poorest, worst situations. And that's the that's the whole that that film noir type movies, crime dramas filled. And it was against the the bad guys were usually the super rich, and they never got their comeuppance. And um, bankers and the super rich, and it was very much class warfare. And now I'm just thinking about Senator Ron Johnson and all his awfulness. He's a villain. Oh yes, this is this is the charity card. The oh, give them a little. This, they can they can leave the state. Can't you give them money for the bus to just go away? Ace, Sword of Truth, Six of Cups, this is trying to help each other, Ten of Pentacles, that's the uh, Dynasty card, Seven of Pentacles, that is the uh, Fruits of Labor, Fruits of Working, and then Ace. So, the law turning against women. The rest of us trying to help women who are in bad situations. This is just, that'll be great for us on the right. And we've got, we've got, if we worked so hard to get these, uh, these heinous Supreme Court justices in place and to take over state governments. So the, the fruits of the work we've done is going to, is just paying dividends. We're setting up our dynasty. Meanwhile, the rest of us actually care about the women. Oh, he's, he's as happy as a pig and flop. Oh boy, okay. Ron Johnson, you've got a, um, I believe you're up in the midterms. But I don't, I want to say, I'd have to look in my binder. I don't think his running mate's been chosen yet. I think there's there's a primary coming up. Joanne, thank you. Thank you. Ron Johnson. Seven of Cups. Illusion, delusion. Yeah, he's big on that. Weezy Squeeze Box is saying Ron Johnson saying to young women, travel to another state and stay there. We don't need your woke, you know, garbage or your young energy in our ruby red reactionary state. Repressive reactionary state. Five ones. <clears throat> uh, rabble rousing. Nine of swords. Jack of Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Just in all of these readings, it's these these Democrats fighting to help others. The Democrats are keep getting in the way here. Two of Swords, decisions to change the decisions. If they feel a little bit background temporarily, but this is where it ends. It's we get decisions changed. 
you get legal decisions changed, um, laws change in, in, is really what I mean. Rebel rousing, worry, fighting for Republicans. Yeah, this is going to turn people worrying. That's going to help. Yeah, he's, um, I said, cruising for bruising. Vote yes. Yes, I will share my little pin once again today. It doesn't want to focus. It's a man's world unless women vote. Mm -hmm. Three more cards on Ron Johnson. of cops helping others. The burden, the ten, ten of wands, the burden. Four of swords, legal silence, three of cups, celebration. These, these far right guys, bye. You're going to be in for a world of hurt. Al Menzi said Johnson said he would retire after two terms, and then in January of uh, this year, he said he would go for a third term. Should have left while you weren't going to embarrass yourself. I, I just, I'm, I, I'll have, I'm still looking at the astrology, but I, I, um, things are not going to go so well for Republicans. They're not going to go as badly as they should, but they're not going to go very well for Republicans. So. Oh, okay. At 42.30. Let's see, 42.30. One last question on this topic, and then we'll go on to some other stuff. Um, the war against Roe v. Wade is affecting more than just clinics who provide abortions. Family planning clinics in poor areas across the country are fighting for survival so they can continue to help low-income women. What does the future hold for the communities they serve? <sighs> Family planning clinics in poor areas. Depends what state they're in. Six of Cups, trying to help, trying to help your community. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Wands, Two of Wands. It depends on the state. In most places, I th it feels like in, in, you know, certainly blue states, they're fine. It even feels like in some red states, they'll be okay. But, you, you, just, you know, you know some of the red states are going to go completely off the deep end. So, they just need, they just need funding. They need money. And so they, they have political backing, certainly in Washington, D.C. And then a burden in communication on the far right. It's not a good look when they go after uh, birth control. It's not a good look when they go after what they're when they go when they do what they're doing now. But it's it's not a good look for them. This will be temporary. 
and these jerks will lose. And there's still, there is still a part of me, a naive little part of me that's like, no, they couldn't possibly do this. They're not, no, the Supreme Court, they're not going to, they can't, they wouldn't actually come out with this and, and throw everything back to the states. They know what would happen. They know how many women would die, how much suffering there would be. The state would, nobody would be this cruel. And I don't want to get rid of that part of me that believes the best of people. But sometimes we have to sit down and have a hard talk. All right, um, 46, meme to you. Is it possible to look at Eric Garcetti's ambassadorship chances after an aide's bad deeds? Or did he know what was going on? Eric Garcetti. Garcetti. Its path to ambassadorship constricts after the Senate report. His aides um, alleged abuse, I'm guessing. Senate report says Garcetti likely knew or should have known. He is Eric Michael Garcetti is an American politician, diplomat, serving as the 42nd and current mayor of Los Angeles since 2013. Member of the Democratic Party, he was first elected in the 2013 election, re-elected in 2017. He was born the same year I was, only earlier in the year. So February 4th, 1971. He's a Democrat. He's been married since 2009. He has a daughter. Eric Garcetti. Okay, Nine of Swords. That's quite a bit of worry. Ace of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords. Oh, well, that's a thief card. Thief card hemmed in. It's not looking good. All the energy here, all of the energy here is bad for Garcetti. All of it. There's, there's no, there is no positive card here for him and that's a that's a lot of worry so I'm gonna guess not so great this is spoiling me though let me tell you they're so tiny and there are so few of them and they're so easy to shuffle <laughs> I understand why people do card tricks with these. Queen of Cups, he has backing, but Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Okay, Four, two, six, 50. Okay, Lola Bell had a question. Please look at the role of John Eastman in 2024. Please look at the role John Eastman might have in 2024 in particular. 
He's he's the one who drafted that horrible thing about what Trump could do to steal the presidency. So John Easton, will you have a role in 2024? Oh, Menzi, also 52 instead of 78. Yeah. Hello, Gretchen. <clears throat> what it feels like is unless he has, unless he's arrested, unless he's dragged right into the middle of the January 6th select committee hearings and his reputation goes through the mud. He's fun. Two of swords. Yeah, decisions, 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 legal decisions. Ten of swords. You almost, you almost killed democracy, dude. Three of swords. Yeah, through the heart. Four of cups. Refusal, two of pentacles, very shaky ground, four of wands, uh, Trump, Trump's base. What, what part of 2014 will he have? I don't think much. Well, hang on. The only, th what I'm getting, for some reason, what I'm getting is, unless Eastman ends up in jail, unless he's facing some kind of serious consequences, he'll just keep on keeping on, and there are people on the right who will always go back to him. The problem is, people on the right may not have the power that they did before. Ace of, it's the re rise of uh, Democrats. That's what we're going through now. Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Well, he's certainly going to go through the ringer and feel beaten up. He was one of the people supporting, but the, it was a very shaky argument. I'm not getting horrible for him, but it's like, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, unless, unless. There's a big unless. Somebody needs to nail this guy to the wall legally for something, for for some some for whatever his role was, or he's just going to keep on keeping on. Six of Wands, Queen of Swords. Oh yeah, legal. Genius, seven of wands. Seven of wands on the defensive to create, try to create a dynasty. He's gonna be, there's gonna be some serious questioning of him. But I'm, I'm getting a, somebody, somebody has to really stand up to him, what he's done, otherwise, Oh well, I just had a thought. Oh well, tra-la, tra-la. So. But we're going to get through this. At 54.30. I need, a, I need a small break here for a second. Oh, my lipstick's come off and I need to stretch for a second. So one, one, one moment. Um, the next question is going to be about the devastating dust storm. There's a typo. Dist storm. Devastating dust storm. Is it is it called a derecho or derico? You guys know?
Yes, Deborah, he was, uh, Eastman was uh, Trump's, one of Trump's lawyers. With terrible ideas. Oh, I, Anna, I know it's, is it Doratio? Derecho. Thank you, Lola Bell. Derecho. I have to remember that. I should make a note. A derecho. A devastating dust storm called a derecho, otherwise known as a land based hurricane, devastated parts of the upper Midwest this week with 100 mile an hour winds tearing through Kansas and Wisconsin to Wisconsin, caused by a heat dome that was responsible for setting record high temperatures from Texas to Maine. Will we start seeing more of these destructive storms as climate change continues? Doracho. Land-based hurricanes. Even 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, I, there, in, in Wisconsin, I um, dealt with a couple instances of stuff like that. It was, or especially one in particular, it was just awful. The, um, I was working at the airport and the, where the private planes came in, you know, but, but big, big jets, you know, that were private planes, but still. And, um, I know that I know that there were the wind gusts. I know they hit at least 65 miles an hour. The rain was coming down so fast that the chocks holding the wheels in place floated up and away. And um, the guys who worked the ramp were just it just immediately went into a panic because you had this 10, 20 million dollar plane just start wandering around <laughs> the apron. <laughs> so this is the loudest card in the in the tarot deck. This is the Jack of Swords, Jack of Swords, the Knight of Swords. This is the aggressive clanking. This is not subtle. Um Nine of Swords, that's worry. Seven of Pentacles, it's fruits of fruits of labor, seven of cups, eight of swords, seven of swords. This is craziness. This is the illusion, delusion. Um I, I, I also have a, I also have a pretty good poker hand here. Just, just saying. Um, this is not good. I mean, and we know it's not going to get better. Not, not for quite a while. It's going to get worse before it gets better. We're just not doing enough to stop climate change yet, yet, but we will. But will there be more storms? Yeah, I think I think this sums it up pretty well. So sorry, no, I didn't see the nine of spades. Well, that was a card. Yeah, that was a card for the reading. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was... That was... Um, yeah. Hemmed in. Thief card. The, the character walking away with, with swords or the stuff. It could be wind carrying from storms, carrying stuff away. 
taking what you owned and whew. I don't I'll be honest with you it just looked good to me but I don't actually know how to properly play poker it's like I think this is a good hand isn't it all right Jean Dorsey says derechos there are storms that form they are ro rolling and roiling vertically then dropping horizontal okay all right at 101 101 oh, 01 oh, 01 oh, 01 oh, 01 oh, uh Moonshadow had a question. Will Democrats choose new leadership in the House and Senate after the midterms? Interesting. All right, let's see if um, let's see here. So will Democrats choose new leadership in the House and Senate? Make this 30. Let us take pity on those watching on replay. 30. There we go. New leadership in the House, new leadership in the Senate. Will Democrats choose new leadership in the House? New leadership in the Senate. It's come after the midterm, so come January. Or whenever they do that after the new Congress is sitting. House. New leadership in the House, someone other than Nancy Pelosi. New leadership in the Senate, someone other than Schumer. Three of Wands. Well, the Republicans are hoping they 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 want they want as much. They're going to be watching carefully, but they they want to see. Democrats go at each other. All right, in the House, three of cups. I think I think it's going to be. I think we're going to be happy with the House after the election. Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords. Why would they be hemmed in? What I'm getting is, is like, huh? um, what this is saying is that we're going to be very, very happy after the midterms with the House, and this is the, the people on the far right being hemmed in. I'm not getting a change of leadership. There's nothing here about the leadership. This is about us being happy. All right, in the Senate, Five of Cups, Nine of, oh, sitting pretty, Nine of Pentacles, this is disappointment, uh, this is Republican sitting pretty, this is Republican, Republican actors acting I wonder if we, if the, uh, see, I've never, I've never picked up that it's going to be a blowout, just that Democrats are going to make real progress. In the Senate, will, will Chuck Schumer remain majority leader in the Senate, the U.S. Senate? Chuck Schumer. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups. Three of Swords. Three of Cups. 
See, I've got I've got him right in the middle. So that would bode well for Schumer. This is us celebrating. This is the far right feeling beaten up. But also they that's a quite a chunk of money. But I've got the swords through the heart, right, between Schumer and our celebration. <clears throat> and this is the charity card. So this is um, Republicans giving a little, like, to their base. Getting a little, giving a little. I, I, don't, I don't think it's up to, I don't think it's uh, anything shocking to say that the likelihood of, of um, A blowout is a blowout is more likely in the House than the Senate. I do have Schumer in the middle, but it's there's some there's some good and some bad there. I'm getting very I'm getting more mixed messages there. But in the House, I've just got people being happy. So all of us being pretty happy. So that's all I'm getting. Didn't say anything about Pelosi. I mean, we could assume if things went well, she'd keep her seat, but I don't know. Maybe she'd leave. Jeanette says a filibuster-proof majority. Uh, I think that might be the 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 swords through the heart, right in the middle of that, where perhaps Democrats gain just enough seats that we have a major a proper majority but we don't have the 60 votes. Vince Foster says happy is good. Hello, Nikita. Okay. At 107.30, Elon Musk. Elon Musk has declared that his bid to purchase Twitter has been placed on hold. While Twitter verifies how many, of his, how many of its accounts are fakes and bots, will he ultimately buy it? And what will happen to the platform then? Yeah. And the cards, the cards were saying there was going to be a wrench in the works. Oh, thank you, Pamela. Thank you for being here. Give you a big hug. Big hug. Jack, sorry, Knight of Wands. Twitter, A. Eh? Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords. Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords. Big legal deal. This is out in the cold. Uh, people feeling who, basically the far right feeling out in the cold. Eight of Cups, this is gathering evidence. This is a sort of truth. So Twitter might not actually be worth what he was going to pay for it. Sheer number of fake accounts and bots might be. It's right in the center, I've got a thief card. And then Trump will be able to get back on Twitter. Oh. oh, if I wanted to, right now I've got, uh, because of you, I've got 13,300 uh, um, subscribers. Thank you. Uh, I could have a lot more. I could pay for a lot more. But I'm not going to do that. That's icky. 
Three of Cups are celebrating. King of Wands, that's Trump. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. That's the merchant. Trump in the wings. He wants back on so badly. I don't care what he says. He wants back on so badly. King of Pentacles. How much money are you really worth? To be honest, I don't think Elon Musk really wants Twitter. <laughs> Seriously. For that much money... I mean, Bezos, you know, bought the Washington Post. That's one thing. But I don't, I don't think, I think Elon Musk is, has, he had ideas for it, but now he's like, mm. Gretchen says he's losing interest. Yeah. Jeanette says, or has he been short selling all along? There could be some of that too. Four of Swords, that's legal silence. That's a contract that is kaput. Four of Pentacles, it's so overpriced. It is so insanely overpriced. Nobody has the money to buy it. Uh, Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Not looking good. No. Not looking good. Renee V says, did he secretly want Twitter because of his woes with the SEC? Um, he gets kind of harebrained schemes because it's always good to have some confidence. And it's hard to be in business if you don't have even just a, a little extra confidence in spot then then uh, is that the right word um then maybe is sensible um but he's he's a little spoiled <laughs> and he does things on impulse because he can that's right okay Impulse by Kim Larson, sort of, yeah. I mean, there's some, there's something to that. One thirteen thirty. Okay, one thirteen thirty. Jen Glenn had a question. So the Senate approved Biden's postal board nominees. Finally, really. Now the majority of the board members are Biden appointees. Is it bye-bye to joy time? Please, please care of this guy. He's such a jerk and we are so sick of him. Please. At least, I mean, thank you guys for, for letting me know that at least we can send things to Australia again. Finally. Really? To joy. Seven of Swords. Thief card. It's also uh, swords are air signs, so communication like mail. And a thief. Thief sign, yeah. <laughs> Linda Spies says, yay, this is where I get all the news. Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Seven, Seven of Cubs, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, oh, the King of Pentacles, that's him, the Ten of Swords, <laughs> metaphorically. Oh, 
his cost-cutting measures are not so great. The power on the right is, is this is traveling with the, the guy in the boat with the swords. It's male traveling with communications. Uh, seven, seven of cups. Illusion, delusion. Subtle talking. Yeah, the thief card. Come on, get rid of your joy, please. Oh, please. Oh. Soon, now, please, before the midterms. I read on him in the midterms and it wasn't necessarily great. Four of pentacles. Oh, that's not having enough support. Nine of swords. That's a lot of worry. Ten of cups. That's a happy card. Oh, that's a happy card for us. Ace of wands. Oh, we're going to have to find some new way to be awful. Okay. Yes, Deborah Murphy, don't start the party yet. Wait until it happens. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. I'm just saying, finally, the cards are, are starting to be positive about this. The energy is getting a little bit better. And really what the cards do is it helps you get past your conscious mind um, and get, helps organize your thoughts, but also helps you get past your, your conscious mind as far as um, your own biases. It helps. Because as you, as those who say, oh, you only, you know, they don't even, it, it, I haven't even heard this complaint in a long time. You only get the answers you, you know, that you want to get. <laughs> no. I've, I've done so many readings with rotten people getting good outcomes. It's like, or, or good people getting rotten outcomes. It's like, but they believe they have found a way to, to prevent sudden infant death syndrome. And then there were these other good things going on. Ukraine is hanging in there and everything I get says they are going to win outright. That's what I get. There's so much good. There's so much good in the world. So don't forget we are in this together. You're not alone. And that's going to do it for me for today. But thank you so much for being here on this Friday the 13th. And uh, yeah, at 4 o'clock, it's 1.33 p.m. here in Chicago. Um, at 4 o'clock, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel to do creative sprints. You are always welcome. And other than that, I will be right back here tomorrow uh, as I am 365 days of the year. So hang in there. All right. Hang in there. We're going to get through this. There are good days ahead. There really are. All right, so take care. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for being here. Bye.